Hello, boys, girls, and of course, gift animals. How are you today? We are um relatively well, right? We are fair tonight. Yeah, we got a little bit of a, a bug, not the not the vid or the hiv or the pox, monkey pox, or anything of that nature. I'm um, going through here, but uh, well, peanut uh, has just come down with a bit of consumption. So. Pop, on the other hand, is the strongest of us all. She never gets sick, and that's what we love about her. Uh, Strong what, workhorse. What are we doing? We are doing pizza. Pizza melts. Pizza melts, pizza melts by Pizza Hut. Yeah. Yes. Go on, go on, pup. So the hut of the Zaw is uh, making a new concoction that looks very, very similar to a uh, papadilla, really, you know? Yeah. Um, it's like a quesadilla with um, meats and cheeses. The and... papadilla has almost like a, a pita bread, though, or a naan. I think they discontinued it, to be honest with you. No, no. I think they're doing like the... Um... Crustless bowls or some BS like that. Yeah, we didn't right. decide to waste our blue collar dollar on something of that measure, but um, we did. Spend... I do think they still have the papadillas. Interesting. Uh, we did spend uh, six ninety nine uh, for all three. I think you got all three. Yeah. I got no. There's four. Oh, which one? Okay, so we got we, the. We got all meats, meat lovers, the chicken parm, chicken bacon ranch. And... Oh, chicken bacon parm. Chicken bacon farm. Oh, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah, chicken bacon farm, and then buffalo chicken. And then buffalo chicken. What's the There's new one? And the the fourth one is just pepperoni. Hmm. But before we get into the lovely feast of the spiciest of Carl's day, um, what are we drinking tonight, Mister Carl? Um, that looks good. Getting fittage or something like that. It's a it's a bourbon that we got at our local Costco. Not bourbon. I'm just, wow. It's How a scotch. Drinking? It is a scotch. Sorry. Um, oh, too many oh wow. Too many puffs. At consumption. Um, he's been poisoned by his constituents, clearly. But um, nonetheless, it's a 14-year-old scotch that has been aged in bourbon barrels. I kind of like it. Um, and what are you drinking? Now, me, on the other hand, um, your loveliest, spiciest family, we have a small little vineyard if That's you will true. we do have a grape grapevine yeah we have one single grapevine it's pretty vibrant but it was abundant this year so we uh decided to pick those bad boys at the end of august and squeeze our own little grape juice into a ferment and uh decided to make it taste a tasty little wine it's not as bodied as i would have hoped um, after refrigeration, but um, lukewarm, it, it's pretty full body. And yeah, what do you expect from Midwest grapes? But um, Good nonetheless. All right, so this is kind of what it looks like. Honestly, the presentation there is yeah, really nice. Yeah, it's not, nice. Bad. not which, bad. Which flavor is that? Oh my goodness, you were just going ham. I think this is the, uh, the three, three meat one. Meat lovers. Meat lovers, you know, something like that. Pups eating baby puffs. All right. Gosh, you love those. All right, we're going to do this very quick. All right. Just a bite each. A bite each. Oh, he's interested, too. Yeah, well. And it looks like they've got some sauce on the side. That's a nice looking little crust here. Wow. Good presentation. We should have mm -hmm. shown them. I did. You show them the inside? The side profile is beautiful. I think I did. Mm. If I didn't, just uh, complain below. Gosh, this is this is pretty. Um, I like that. Okay. It's definitely the meat lovers. The crust is like bubbly and flaky almost. Almost like pretzely, but not quite. It's got a crunch. It's, it's a cracker pretzel almost. Yeah. That's a good um, descriptor. Cracker pretzel. <clears throat> okay. I'm guessing this is oh, the- Oh, wow. Uh, we gotta open up that sauce, too. What, ranch? Sure. I like that they're including a sauce in every package. That is bonus points for me. We all know Mrs. Carl, Spicy Carlita, 
is a big sauce girl. So we'll see in the third package if they included a sauce or a not. Sauce. Which one is this? The farm. I'm guessing it's the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever it is, chicken bacon ranch. Chicken bacon ranch porn. Something like that. Says, but I was expecting kind of like a marinara, actually, like um, like a chicken parm thing. But this looks just like a chicken bacon ranch. And they it serves with ranch, so I guess that makes sense. Hmm. Okay. Good. Their ranch is not great, though, to be honest. No, you know what's not great? It's really mayo -y. Anytime you get chicken from a pizza place. You think? 100%. It's not as bad as what, um, well, it could be the wine talking, but. He's very interested in that. Okay, okay, okay. Well, good evening again. This is take five. Our camera people just cannot get this right tonight. And we will be talking with the union representatives um, for, for your anger on Monday. Because they don't work Fridays. That's in a collective bargaining agreement. Anyway, uh, we were reviewing the pizza melts from Pizza Hut. And uh, don't know exactly where it cut off. We'll get our We've got three editing. paninis. And let's just start with the all meats. It's all pretty meats. good. Um, I like the all meats the best. I think it works well. It's six ninety nine. All of this was six ninety nine dollars uh, per... Each panini. Yeah, each, each pizza melt. And um, yeah, I think it's a decent value. And ultimately, um, not that bad. I mean, honestly, it's, it's not that bad. Uh, I don't think all of them work well. I think chicken quality on pizza is really bad. I think they just sit there. It usually is. It usually um, is. <clears throat> but it's okay. I mean, there's no gristle, you know. Um, I think you mentioned that. Maybe it's recorded. Maybe it's not. Uh, but she did mention that. What's your what's your score? My score overall is going to be um, a somewhat mildly respectable 5.22893. Okay, well, I thought that was your best one. I mean, I'm just overall rating the, the experience. I mean, I think that that's probably the higher end of the scale of how I'd rate it. Really? I mean, I would probably bump it up maybe like a 0.2, 0.3, point, point like for just for the, the meat one. But I mean, overall, I'm just kind of rating the product and it's meh. Oh, well, a I'm, bit better than me. I'm not going to let the uh, <clears throat> technology affect my rating. <laughs> and I'll say I love the idea. It's like crispy um, calzones. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a um, 7.4339 um, overall idea. Just it's something new. I'm not a big pizza person, but um I yeah. enjoy a good calzone. And these are crispy, but they're... Spicy pop. Uh, pop. What do you rate it? Pop. 10 out of 10. Wow. Wow. Anyway, God bless. Hope to see you again. And Stay tuned. Always. Until next time. You take care.